Let's see what we have. Probably a glitter bomb. <gasps> There's a note. Let's read it. Mike, keep making vids. They're great. Enjoy the stuff. Sincerely, your grass father. Grassfather always looking out for me. What do we have? Oh, oh yeah, lawn tools. I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, oh. Appropriate for today. Don't know why he sent me one of these. I already have one. <gasps> oh, he didn't. Oh man. I asked him about this and I actually think, I think he wore this. He said he did, he wore it once. So I don't know if I should wash it if he didn't because why would you want to wash that? That's like sacrilege. So there we go. Thank you, Connor. Thank you so, so much. And I'm working on something special for you once I figure out how to use Photoshop. And then, oh, we're gonna get that on a t-shirt. We'll see ya. Oh, oh, wow. I have been busy. Things have been absolutely crazy. I'm wearing pants. Ryan Nor was wearing shorts. I think we both shave our legs now. And that can only mean one thing. It's time for a yard update. So I'm gonna preface all this right now. Since the last yard update around three weeks ago, today's the 17th of July. The only thing I've put down was that 818X screen. I haven't done anything else. The weather's been terrible. It's been nothing but like Florida style weather, afternoon rain, which I work during the day, surprisingly, and I haven't been able to do anything. So this is where we sit, no ammonium sulfate, no RGS. Yeah, sucks, I'm kind of disappointed, but I've been so busy with everything else, the yard's kind of taken a backseat to everything. Before we get into the nitty gritty of how everything's uh, shaping up, if you can see these little scalp marks, <laughs> yeah, I may have not have tightened a bolt on the height of cut adjustment on the Toro Flex after I put it together and it worked its way loose and one side was like a lot lower than the other side. So that's what that was. I figured that out yesterday and then I reset the front yard but didn't get around to doing the backyard. So let's hop into how everything's filling out. It's looking still like crap, but it's getting better. We're starting off from the shed now. Gonna do things differently. I'm not gonna be standing in the way. No previous shots of this here, but I did put some Tifgram plugs in. And they're doing pretty well. Here's a wide shot of along the fence line here. It actually looks better on the screen than it does in person. This area is filling in a little bit, I think. Ooh. I have a tree root right there. I'm gonna have to cut that guy out of there. We can't have any of that from that fella there. This area is still, it's a little bit better. Slowly filling in. The pea spot is gone, completely filled in. So that's awesome. Dormant plugging's coming along pretty well, I guess. This is just hard to get to grow in with the amount of foot traffic, but it's slowly getting there. If I wouldn't have missed those fertilizer treatments, it possibly could have been filled in by now, but hopefully I will be able to make that up. This area is doing a tad bit better. Things are waking up. 
but there are um, getting some visitors right here. Goosegrass is trying to make a comeback. I need to pull him up. I've just been pulling him as I see him. My Tiff Grant area is doing its thing. Let's do a close up with a Tiff Grant though. Holy wow. Looks really, really good. The plugs are slowly making their way. This stuff just, did, it's not as aggressive as other varieties which I can see that being a positive and a negative. This area here, it's starting to fill out and then we go, let's blend this in here. There's some Tiff Grand next to some Yukon. Notice the color difference and finer leaf texture of the Tiff Grand. This area is still having some trouble but it is slowly filling in. Now onto this bit. It's doing pretty good. This area is filled in through here quite nicely. You can see some Bermuda now starting to kind of pop up throughout the area. More goosegrass. Hopefully you can see my dogs back there uh, climbing a tree trying to eat birds. So here it is, that big, like, probably the worst area. And trying to give you all a good shot so we can compare it with the other one. It's filling in phenomenally well. So, so happy with how this is going. I think last time we were like right around here and it's moved its way down. This whole area here is just filled in, thickened up. We'll do a quick little overview shot. There's where I stand right now. Yes, new shirt, all that fun stuff. Yeah, it's a new day. I've been busy. Things happen and then all this rain because we continue to get it every afternoon and it kills what I can do. But that's where I'm at. It's made a little bit of progress not where I wanted it to be, but I'm going to have to make it a priority to get more fertilizer down, to get things filled out and just maintain that schedule I wanted to commit to that I haven't. Because even though it's only mid-July, I really only have about six weeks left of growing season before things start slowing down and the Bermuda starts storing all its energy to root development for the winter things don't really go fully dormant here until maybe like the first week of November, but it definitely slows down around Labor Day. But again, thank you all for watching. I'm finalizing the giveaway. So hopefully in the next week or so, I just have to do some back end stuff for me to get all that set up. I'll let you know as soon as I get that going and when I announce it and how I'm going to do it. So hey, real low dad, I'm out of here.